I had hoped Henry might want to watch the football on the big TV, but no. Here's your tea. Oh, thanks. So what did you do? Stay in his room? Yeah. He barely came out of there. Even at mealtimes, he just grabs his plate and disappears. Oh, well, maybe you should insist he stays and eats with you and Jack. How can I, Mum? After what I said to him on Friday. Helen, how many times... I know, I can't keep beating myself up, but you didn't hear the way I tore into him. I just wanted him to understand. The only person Rob cares about is himself. And he knows that now. He never wants to see him again. Oh, come on, love, it'll be okay. Whatever game that pathetic man thought he was playing, it's backfired. But it hasn't. This is all part of his plan. I'm not so sure. Honestly, Mum, he wants me to know that if he can get to Henry, he can get to Jack too. Doesn't matter what the courts say. And he was happy to throw Henry under the bus to prove it. Fine, fine. I, I, I still think you should talk to Dominic. Oh, the non-molestation order's there for a reason. Rob can't think he can ambush you wherever he likes. Imagine if Jack had been at the pool as well. All right, OK, I'll call him after the weekend. Good. He'll know what to do. And um, what about Clary? What about her? Well, do you still want me to cover for you in the dairy tomorrow? Oh, please. Just say I'm sick or something. If I see her, I'm going to say something. Well, I mean, it was hardly the Grundy's fault. I know, I know. I'm sure they thought Henry was off enjoying the county show. They didn't know Rob was lying in wait. Which is why I haven't said anything. They still should have kept a better eye on him. Anything could have happened. Ah, uh, to be honest, I suspect Henry would have found a way to sneak off somehow. From what he said, he had it very well planned. H Henry's spoken to you. When? This morning. After he'd helped Dad with milking. And he opened up to you about what happened? W what did he say? Pip! Stella! What are you up to? Uh... Actually, I'm waiting for Rosie to come and choose what ice cream she wants. Tony distracted her with feeding the goats. Ah, oh, I bet she's loving that. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Busy. That's why I've nipped up to the farm shop. No food at home. And then I bumped into George, who said he was working in the tea room today, and I thought, I'll treat myself. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, I've, I've been past yours a couple of times, uh, and it didn't look like you were in. No, no. Well, we're still hard at it, bringing in the last of the week. I definitely deserve cake. Oh, of course, yeah. Just as long as you're not, um... What, Pip? Upset about last week? Well, look, I, I am sorry. I didn't mean to get touchy. I was just out of sorts. Mm. And... I was trying to help you. I know. Mm. I wasn't trying to get you to skate round the rink with me, hand in hand. No, I didn't think <laughs> you were. I've just been a bit confused, I suppose, after, you know... Look, it was a stupid, drunken moment. It didn't mean anything. Didn't it? Not to me. Did it to you? No, no, no. Well then, we're not teenagers. Doesn't say much for our friendship if it can be ruined by one silly kiss. And I don't want it to ruin our friendship either. That I, it, it's really important to me. It's really important to me too. So isn't that what matters? I mean, it doesn't say much if you can't accept a genuine apology either. <laughs> I tell you what, how do you fancy a drink in the tea room? What now? Are you in a rush? Well, no. Great. Why don't you think about what you'd like, and I'll check Tony doesn't mind watching Rosie. <laughs> it's my treat. L let me get this straight. So when Henry first contacted Rob, it was to tell him to leave us alone. Exactly. He was trying to protect you. So why did he agree to meet him at the county show? Because by then, that man had got his hooks into him. How, though? That's what I don't understand. I mean, I, I know I've shielded him. Tried to help him forget what happened, but surely Henry knows not to trust him. What did Rob say to him? He said you lied to him. Well, well maybe, maybe, maybe not lied, but that there's another side to the story. He said you weren't well. What? Now? No, 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 no. Back when you were pregnant with Jack. He said having a baby does strange things to women, that you were a, a little unhinged. 
You get the idea. Did he say he was scared about what I'd do if I left him? That he was worried I might hurt myself? Oh, or Jack? Or Henry? Is that what he told Henry, Mum? Same as he told the jury? And the jury didn't believe him, did they, Helen? Most of them didn't. And neither does Henry. He knows why you flew off the handle at him. And yes, he, he's going to be upset for a while. But if he's angry with anyone, he's angry with himself for being taken in. Maybe, but still, there must have been some small part of him that wanted to believe Rob. Why else did he make such a big effort to see him? Well... What? That's something else he told me. He didn't arrange it entirely by himself. He didn't? So who did? <sighs> Mum... It was George. He helped him find Rob online. It's his phone Henry used to get his details. Uh, and the county show? Was that George's idea too? Well, sort of. He agreed to take him along. I knew it. Knew what? I knew that Henry wouldn't have done this without someone encouraging him. Right. Where are you going, Helen? I promised Henry I wouldn't say anything. So where's Fallon gone? Whitstable, with her mum. Well, at least you've got George helping you hold the fort. Mm, for today, at least. Then he's back on the farm. Oh, well. Anyway, enjoy. Thanks, Emma. Thank you. And thank you, too. Ah, that's OK. No, really, this is a treat. I'm anyone's for a cream tea. That was a joke, Pip. Right, sorry. Look, <laughs> if we can't laugh about what happened, can we at least try to forget about yeah, it? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Like you say, it didn't mean anything anyway. No, exactly. Great. Well, I'm pleased. Please enjoy these me apologising for being weird scones. <laughs> <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> so, what's going on with closing the B&B? I was really surprised when your mum told yeah, me. Yeah, I know. But now Ben's heading back to uni, he doesn't want to run it anymore. And no one else has the time either. I did say I'd do it. Did you? And then immediately regretted it. But only a couple more bookings and then that's that. Oh, I'm not surprised. I've seen your place. Housekeeping really isn't your thing. Excuse me, I'll have you know I vacuumed downstairs yesterday. And what about upstairs? Oh, give me a chance. Just one step at a time. Yeah, yeah quite literally. literally. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, what brought that on? Uh, I thought I'd make the house presentable for Toby. He's arriving this evening. No, he's not staying at yours, is he? Uh, no, no, he's staying on Rex's boat as usual, but he's uh -huh. going to be around a week. I don't want him thinking I'm raising his daughter in total squalor. Mm, perish the thought. Mm. The next Saturday he's off to Cornwall with Rosie. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Get some sleep, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, Mum mentioned you might be going away again soon with uh, Zara, was it? Yeah, that'd be nice. She's the one you met at your sister's wedding. Mm. Well, I've not done anything about it yet. Maybe a week away later in the year. Mm. Quite fancy Sicily. Oh, stop. You're making me jealous. Hang on. No way. No, I, I didn't I, mean... I've but... only just noticed you put the cream on first. Cream? On your scone. Where do you think you're from? Devon? I said, does it matter? I mean, it tastes the same. Oh, I'm outraged. <laughs> that Mmm. Delicious. Well, if I'd have known you were that way in class. <laughs> Where's George? Get him out here. I want to talk to him now. I know he's working here. Yeah, but Helen, hold on. Why do you want to talk to him? Hasn't he told you? Told me what? He's been helping Henry get in touch with Rob. Last Thursday at the county show, he was there. Sorry, what? Rob was at the show. You were Rob? Yes. George took Henry to meet him when you were meant to be supervising. I don't understand. Right, there he is. George! You looking for me? What's she talking about? How could you? After everything we've done for you. Excuse giving me. Giving you the benefit of the doubt, letting you work on the farm. Oh, right, because everyone's desperate to pick runner beans for you. Uh, George. I didn't do anything. Henry made me help oh, So it's true, then. You expect me to believe that. George, you are 18. Henry's 12. Oh, believe what you like. All right, all right. Can we take this somewhere else? I trusted you. I let him go to the skate park with you. You're disturbing my customers. To the show. You're supposed to be an adult. Have you any idea what I've had to do to stop that monster getting near us? We all know what you did. I beg your pardon, Helen. No, 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 you're not going to let him get away with that. Henry would never have done something so idiotic without you goading him. Well, at least I didn't lie to him. 
Excuse me. How come you didn't tell Henry his dad wanted to see him? Doesn't he deserve to know? That man is not his dad. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot. Henry doesn't know who his dad is. No one does. George! You got yourself knocked up with a turkey baster, didn't you? Couldn't get a real man, could you? You crazy you man. nasty <laughs> man. That is enough, both of you. What are you going to do? Hit me? Don't tempt me. And there it is. Helen, I think you should leave. So much for the helpless female act. What are you doing? Filming for my own protection. Stop, stop it! Put it down! Oh, whoa, get off! I'm serious. Helen, for you the need record, to... she just tried to grab my phone. Don't leave. want him filming me! Then stop trying to come near me. If you don't like it, just leave! Yeah, who's threatening who? Just shut your mouth! You think you're being threatened? You think I'm threatening? Me? I'm the scary one? I'm crazy? <laughs> Bingo. Do you have any idea what it's really like to not feel safe? Tell us. Yeah, of course you don't. You need to calm down. You are just a sad, pathetic little boy. Hey, don't talk to him like that. Yeah, why not? That's what he is. Yeah, and I hope you feel proud of what you've created. Right. You know where the door is. Just go before you embarrass yourself anymore. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going. Oh, don't end the show now. I don't want him anywhere near my son. Do you hear me? You stay away from him. Just get out. Wow. That was off the scale nuts. George, you go and wait for me out the back. I'll be through in a second. But... Now, please. <sighs> Fine. I'm, um, I'm so sorry, everyone. That's not something that normally happens here. Please, if you could, um, if you could just bear with me for a little while. Yeah, Blimey. What's all that about? Rob Titchener. Oh. Yeah, but he hasn't been around for years. So what exactly happened? Oh, where do you want me to begin? Helen? Oh, my Lord, what is it? It's fine. I'll be all right. What's what happened? I found George. I was so angry. I, I, I just stormed in there. Oh, no. <laughs> What happened? I lost it, Mum. I can't even remember what I said. Oh, look, 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 I, I, I'm sure it wasn't as bad as you think. No, it was. It was in front of the whole tea room. They'll all be talking, they all know. Know what? About Rob. It's all anyone will be thinking about when they see me now. Why can't I ever escape? <laughs> Rex, what are you doing? Coffee. Would you like one? Uh, would you like a coffee? Oh, please. Can can you make it more quietly, though? How did you sleep? <sighs> About as well as you'd expect, sleeping on something that folds away into a table. I did say you could top and tail with me. And listen to your snoring. Hey, I don't snore that much. Really? Then there must be a moorhen nearby with a serious adenoid problem. <laughs> Do you want this coffee tipped over your head? Hey, hey. Oh. Yeah, I thought not. Oh. Here you go. Merci, garçon. Seriously, Rex, how do you live like this? There's not enough room to swing a kitten, let alone a cat. And yet I have everything I need. <sighs> you do know Dad thinks you've lost the plot. Uh, yeah, I dare say he does. Rearing pigs and living on a narrow boat, this isn't what I paid all those school fees for. Which is why I don't work for him and you do. Uh, speaking of the pigs, I need to shoot over to Lower Loxley in a little while. <clears throat> you do what you need to do. I might go and crash on your bed. Uh, but then I thought we could take a stroll round the rewilding. It's really come on since you last took a look. Mm, like I say, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, you don't mind me going in your cabin? Uh, no, no, no. I think there's someone here to see you. Oh, it's down the bank, Rosie. Morning. Oh, hey, Rex, Toby. Pip. Uh... You OK? This is the time we said... Uh, uh, we agreed I'd bring Rosie over first thing. You hadn't forgotten, had you? No, no, uh, of course not. Um, it's just when you said first thing, I, uh, but that's fine. So you're going to put on some trousers? Mm, yeah, oh, yes, absolutely. Bring her down. Oh, morning, Pat. Is Helen not in today? Uh, no, she's a bit under the weather, I'm afraid. I'm covering for her. Oh, I see. Here. Let me get out of your way. The Clary is already setting up. Oh, uh, Pat, I, I just want you to know, no one had any idea about Rob. 
We were all so shocked when we heard. It's all right, Susan. But it's not, is it? Now, I'm not saying George is blameless. And I know I wasn't there in the tea room yesterday when it all kicked off. No, nor was I. But Emma told me Helen really laid into George. Get the impression he gave as good as he got. Well, maybe so. But he did only do what Henry asked him to. He thought he was doing him a good turn. Yeah, I'm sure he did. And Helen knows she overreacted. Have you been through what she's been through? Oh, no. What, we've all been through? Pat? Uh, c come through when you're ready. No, no wait. Are you OK? Uh, yeah. Oh, Pat, here, let me fetch your paper towel. Uh, oh, I knew there was something up. For weeks now, things haven't seemed quite right. Oh, thanks. How long has Rob been back? Uh, feels like forever, to be honest. As soon as we heard he was in the country, I, I, I don't know, it was it was like time concertina somehow. We are back to how we were after the trial. Oh, I can imagine. He's trying to get access to Jack. Well, he won't get it, though, will he? Who knows? It'll be up to the courts. But it's already got to Henry. Oh, well, true. It's not quite the same, though. No. It's even worse. Thank goodness it didn't happen, but what if he'd persuaded Henry to bring Jack with him? He, he might have tried to kidnap him again. I mean, he is capable of anything. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. Makes my blood run cold. Oh, mine too. I can see why Helen reacted the way she did now. She must have been beside herself. Still is. Honestly, Susan, she's mortified about yesterday. Especially imagining what... Everyone will be saying, making judgments about her state of mind. Well, if I hear anyone say anything, I'll put them right. Susan, that's kind. But you remember what the gossip was like before? It's going to start all over again. The way Pip described it, Helen went completely berserk, screaming her head off at George. Oh, I didn't even know Rob was around. I wonder if Kirsty did. Mm, maybe, yeah. Oh, I ought to say something when I see her later. This is bound to affect her too. Rex to the rescue, eh? Always ready with a shoulder to cry on. Oh, hold on. There. What? But by the hedgerow. It's another brown hair streak. Quick, quick, grab Rosie. Oh, she's climbing a tree. Oh, that's amazing. Now the hedges aren't flailed, they're really flourishing. Oh, I should take a photo. Listen to you. Rex Edward Fairbrother, child of the soil. Yeah, you can mock. Just because Dad's got his claws back into you. He has not got his claws into me. Oh, it's gone. It is possible to work alongside him without turning into him. If you say so. The rosy cheeks and the expanding waistline must just be my imagination. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'll have you know my alcohol consumption has gone down since getting into the wine business. With all the travelling I do, I'm normally tucked up by half ten. Well, that can't be great for your love life. Well, that's another thing. I'm, I'm kind of done with the whole playboy thing. <laughs> is that so? Yes, it is. I was saying to Pip last night... No more constantly swiping right for me. I, I've joined a new site for busy executives. Ooh, you're an executive now, are you? Yes, and one with a strategy for long-term commitment. <laughs> I'll give you some. Uh, what about you? Have you lured any ladies back to the floating love shack? <laughs> when the narrow boat's rocking, don't come knocking. Uh, yeah, sadly not. Yeah. Guess I must be holding out for the one, too. <laughs> well, speaking of relationships, is Pip seeing anyone right now? Uh, I don't think so. Why? I'm just curious. Like I say, I, I was showing her this new dating app, flicking through the profiles I've been matched with, asking her which go-getting businesswoman she'd choose. She got kind of weird. In what way? I'm not sure, really. Well, I, I doubt it's because she's met someone new. I mean, she's so busy at Brookfield. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe it was just me. Oh, what's Rosie up to? You right there, sweetie? You're not stuck? Uh, I think she might be. You better go rescue her. Yep. Don't worry, darling. Daddy's coming. Well, tell Helen she mustn't worry about coming in tomorrow. Me and Clary ain't holding anything against her. Oh, thank you, Susan. Although I'm not sure she's ready to show her face quite yet. Oh. Mum, you off home? Oh, hello, love. Yeah, we just finished. How about you? Yeah, I've just locked up. Hello, Emma. Pat. 
Right, well, I expect Tony's wondering where his dinner's got to. I'll see you tomorrow, Susan. Oh, yeah, OK. Have a nice evening. So did uh, Helen not come in today? No, no, she didn't. Well, doesn't that say it all? You know, people can't believe it when I tell them what a scene she made. You've not been gossiping about it in the tea room. No, it's hard not to talk about it. Everyone keeps asking, and I'm not having them thinking it was George that was only in the wrong. Has he been working today? What, and risk being on the end of another mouthful? No, he messaged Tom to say he was sick. Right, I see. What have you said to Pat? Me? I hope you told her George is owed an apology. Helen was completely out of line. Oh, look, sorry, love, but I need to get home. Still sorting through stuff for Sunday's car boot. Why? What are you getting rid of? Oh, all sorts. It's amazing how much you accumulate and how little you actually use. Have a look first before you try and sell it. Um, sure. In fact, I don't need to be home yet. Why don't I come back with you now? So you've had a good day then? Yeah, it's been fab. Mm. We explored the rewilding, uh, built dens in the woods. Then after lunch, we had a kickabout on Jubilee Field. Mm. I, I lost count of the number of bulls she got past me. <laughs> Our daughter's a proper little lioness. <laughs> oh, no wonder she's crashed out on the sofa. You must be knackered too. Oh, I'm hanging in there. Yeah. You're sure you just want water? Yep. Although I'll have some ice if you've got any. I think I can just about stretch to that. Oh, I saw what's her name on the way over. Who? You know, uh, moved into Burt's. Oh, Stella. That's right. Yeah. What did she say to you? Nothing. We just sort of smiled and waved at each other. She seems nice. She is. She... Well, I thought you liked her. No, no, I do. I mean, Stella's great. She's lovely. She's just... No, I didn't mean... Oh, oh, oh. oh uh, OK, whoops-a-daisy. It's all right. Oh, I'll no, pick them up. No, no, it's fine. I'll do it. Uh, no. All I meant was Stella's a really good friend of mine and Mum's. Wonderful. Glad we got yeah. that straight. Um, well, maybe you could introduce me sometime. Well, it's all very well her having a go at George, but what about Henry? Yeah, it's all right, Emma. George was only doing what Henry wanted, and he didn't even click it with Robert first. He's 12 years old, Emma. Have you seen anything you want? What? The stuff in this box as well. There's a soda siphon, salad spinner, and with that inflatable bath pillow your dad bought me. He knows I've never used it. No, I'm good. Hey, you're throwing out a lot of books. <gasps> oh, my goodness, where did you find that? Oh, right here next to the pile. Well, it shouldn't have been. Oh, that's my copy of Lark Rice to Candleford. I've had that since I was 14. Any good? Oh, good. It's wonderful. It's all about a young girl moving away from the tiny village where she grew up. So what, it's like teen fiction? No, Emma, it's not teen fiction. Are you seriously telling me you've never heard of it? What about when he was on the teller? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, don't make that noise. It used to make it so boring at school. Hmm. Oh, you just had your mind on other things. Hey! Oh, come on. You're not telling me you were a model student. Well, still doesn't mean I don't wish I had a better education. I've always wanted more time to lose myself in a good book. Well, if you want to take a few of these, there's all sorts of you. Classics, romances, mysteries. Oh, what's this one like? The Edge of Madness by Michael Dobbs. Oh, that's one of your dads. Not about Helen, is it? Emma! What? Don't be so cruel. You know full well what Helen's been through. Well, it doesn't give her the right to go around dissing whoever she likes. From what I heard, George said some pretty choice things as well. Yeah, well... Whose side you on? Oh, now, Emma, I always stand up for George. Oh, really? Oh, you know I do. But you've got to admit it, you can let his mouth run away with him. Oh, for heaven's sake, you ended up slapping him for what he called you the other day. That's different. Oh. It just is. For a start, you say things in families you'd never say to anyone else. You think that makes it acceptable? No, of course I don't. But, but I'm not going to let someone else lay into him. He's my son. Is this Pat? Did she get to you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I just think Helen deserves a little understanding, that's all. She was trying to protect her son too. Just imagine how you'd feel. You know what Rob did to her. I know. It was awful. And you know he tried to kidnap Jack. He's not supposed to be allowed anywhere near them. I do remember what happened. I was telling George about it last week. Well then, imagine it was the other way round and it was George or Kira and someone had put them in danger. Mum. I get 
why you want to defend him, but sometimes you have to stop turning a blind eye. Hello? Ground control to Major Tom. Oh, Natasha, sorry, I didn't hear you. I figured. How come you're here? I thought you had a meeting with one of your growers. They had to reschedule. Oh, right. Oh, go on. In you go. And your mum's happy minding Serena Nova. I found myself with a rare free couple of hours. Oh, I don't suppose you fancy doing the milking, do you? George is still claiming to be ill. I've been running to stand still all day. Nice try, but I've got plenty of stuff I could be getting on with. Fair enough. Before that, though, I'm going to treat myself to an iced caramel latte from the tea room. You're brave, aren't you? What? Facing Emma. Oh, Tom. Well, she might slip more than caramel in your coffee. We can't all be feuding. Yes, what George did was bad, but having a cold war with the Grundies isn't going to help. OK, OK. The only true villain here is Rob Titchener. You're right. Of course I am. So, can I get you anything from the tea room? No. Oh. Honestly, I'm fine. If you're certain, I'll see you back at home then. Uh, so, I'm still collecting the girls from Mum? Well, why wouldn't you be? I don't know. I just thought since you haven't got your... Uh, but... I had the girls all yesterday evening while you were down the pub with Toby. You said you didn't mind. I didn't. But this parenting thing is a joint enterprise. Now go on, milk your cows. Hey there. Oh, hi Helen. How are you? It's good to see you. Oh, thanks. Aren't you steering clear of the farm at the moment? Uh, yeah, I was, but I need to speak to Henry. I is he over in the polytunnels? Yeah. How's he doing? Is he all right? He's still quiet. I've tried to joke around with him. Mm. I think I made him crack a smile once. Mm. You're doing better than I am. When I try to talk to him, all I get is a door in my face or he jams his headphones on. I thought maybe if I tried somewhere other than home... Yeah, just hang on in there, yeah? Henry will come round, you'll see. Yeah, sure. Listen, sorry, Emma. I need to crack on. Bye-bye. Bye, love. Oh, Bye. Yeah. Bye, Natasha. <sighs> Wish I felt so confident. No, I know. But you'll get there, though. Just don't expect too much from him straight away. <laughs> no. And Helen? Yeah? Well done. What for? Showing your face on the farm. Right, two cream teas, one oat milk latte, a brownie, and yep, no problem. I'll fetch you a box you can take it away in if you don't manage to finish it all. Thanks so much, I'll bring that over soon. Sorry, 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 I'll be with you in a sec. Don't worry, Emma. Oh, just let me find a bit of space on the counter for the tray. Oh, careful. Can you manage? Yeah, I think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, perfect. That's all I need. Oh, it's all right. It doesn't matter. Let me, strain. Let me help clear it up. No, no, I'll take it. Uh, it's fine. No, it's my fault. Oh, Emma, honestly, I don't mind. Thanks. <sighs> no use crying over a smashed cup, eh? <laughs> I don't know. That's the day I've had so far. Oh, really? Oh, I'm here on my own and earlier the water heater in the kitchen packed in. Dishwasher's playing up. It's a mess in there. Why didn't you find Tom or someone? I'm sure one of us could have helped. In fact, I think we've got a tea urn somewhere. Oh, that's kind, but figured I'm not the most popular person with your in-laws at the moment. Hey, don't seem like I'm very popular with anyone. What are you talking about? Emma? Sorry, I'm OK, really. Well, obviously you're not. Come on, what is it? It's just, I suppose happened with Ellen, it's, it was just such a shock when she stormed in. Oh, of course it was. And the way she went into George. I mean, you've got to stand up for your kids. Too all right, you have. But at the same time, I, I don't know. I've been having such a tough time with George recently and, and then this happens and... I mean, even my mum, she's normally his biggest cheerleader, but... Even she's on Helen's side. This shouldn't be about sides. No, I, I know, and I, I do... I feel terrible for Helen. I mean, she must be so scared. Look, everyone's emotions are high right now. What we need to do is pull together. Yeah. I tell you what, how long is it until the tea room closes? Oh, just over an hour, but I, I'm going to be here a lot longer clearing up. Then why don't I lend you a hand? Oh, Helen. I was hoping I'd still find you in here. You're just in time. I was about to head home. Yeah? Where's Henry? Picking borage. Right. And how did it go? It was like you said. I did most of the talking. But he listened? I think so. He's agreed to join me and Jack when we call Lee on the tablet later. Great. Well, that's progress. I guess. 
So, how come you're not in the parlour? <laughs> you can't have finished milking already. <laughs> no, no. Dad made the mistake of dropping by. Oh. I twisted his arm. <laughs> I've still got so much salad and veg that needs harvesting. <sighs> right. I better let you get on then. Yeah, ta. Although, Ellen. Yeah? What is it, Tom? Look, if what I'm about to ask is a no-go, please, honestly, just say I completely understand. What do you want to ask? It's about George working on the farm. I know what he did was dreadful. I, I get why you're angry with him. I'm furious too. But? But? We are really struggling, especially with Johnny off on the high seas, and George... Is a hard worker. Oh. I just feel like it's another way that Rob is making things difficult. He's the real problem. George, he's just a lad. You're right, Tom. Well, let me think about it, OK? Thanks so much, Natasha. I can't tell you how much you've helped me out. That's OK. To be honest, I've kind of enjoyed seeing how everything works. Yeah, or well, doesn't, more alike. That was such a good idea of yours to put the syrups next to the grinder. I don't know why we've always kept them on the shelf. Sometimes it takes an outside eye. Yeah, I guess. I was wondering, have you ever thought of bringing back the takeaway service? You know, like you did during lockdown. Wasn't it very popular? Yeah, it was. And I think Fallon thought about it, but it was so hard just getting the tea room back open again. I think she decided it was just too much effort. Really? Oh, but wouldn't it be great to offer customers ready-made picnics, especially for half-terms? Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's her call. So you don't have much of a say? Mm, no, not with the uh, financial business side of things. I've never run anything in my life. <laughs> what were you doing before this? I did uh, cleaning and I worked at the Orange Ray. At Lower Loxley? Yeah, and at the cafe Kenton used to run in town. So you've always worked in hospitality then? Oh, well, catering. That's what I got my MVQ in. Emma, you've got an NVQ? Oh, well, it was all I could really do after flunking my GCSEs. All I got was a C for English language. So, what's that compared with? How many years' experience? Twenty, I guess. Oh, precisely! You need to believe in yourself more. Uh, that's easy for you to say. You're so confident. Oh, nah, you'd be surprised. What are you still doing hanging around? Oh, yeah, carriers. Um, no, I didn't make it home in the end. <laughs> for a second there, I thought you were talking to me. Uh, no. Well, anyway, best be off. Thanks again, Natasha. Uh, it was a pleasure, Emma. See you. What was a pleasure? Rebuilding bridges. Eh? I'll tell you later. Come on, we can pick up Sir and Anova from me mum together. Uh, did you see the photo I posted? No. It's of me picking the edible flowers. Uh -huh. oh, hang on a sec, oh, I'll show you. Helen took it. Um, I thought it was something a little bit different from what we usually put on the bridge fresh feed. Mm, sure. Well, let me just open the app. What the hell? Tom? You have got to be kidding me. Why? What is it? What are you looking at? See for yourself. Look what George has just posted. Do you think I'm standing? Me, me, me. I'm the scary one. What? 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 I'm crazy, 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 crazy. <laughs> Too right you are. Do you think I'm standing? George, I'm me, me, me. Uh, yeah, I'm hang on. What are you doing? What's that? Uh, nothing. It sounds like Helen. Show me your phone. It's none of your business. I was just watching something. George, give it to me. Let me see. <coughs> hey! It's only a joke. Moment crazy Karen diagnoses herself. Did you put this on here? So what have I did? It's only what she deserves. How long has this been up? Not long. Ten minutes. You need to take it down now. Uh, why? It's funny. George, the whole world could see this. Then she shouldn't have freaked out at me, should she? She knew I was filming her. If you ask me, she had it coming. Had it coming? What did she expect? Hannah was right. Hannah? What's that stupid cow got to do with it? Yeah, there you go again. You're talking about women in a derogatory way. Only because that's what she is. No, she was your boss and you didn't like her telling you what to do. Oh, it's not just her, is it? Helen's a...
Kevin. Yeah? And me, your own mother, calling me that hateful word. You slapped me! I know, and that was wrong too. But you've got a problem. It's what's in your head. Where's it coming from, George? I didn't bring you up like this. Is it your friends? Is it the internet? Is it what you watch online? You don't know what I watch. I know you watch that so-called influencer. You don't honestly believe that foul nonsense, do you? I don't know. Yeah. There are some terrible, horrible people and they're spreading rubbish. Is that who you want to be? Mum, you don't get it. No, George. I, I can't do this anymore. I've defended you up to now, but this... Right, OK. I want you to delete that video. But... Now, George, before anyone sees it. Who's that? How should I know? i better go and find out. Do you want me to come with you? I want you to stay here and do what I asked. You take down that video. And I'll be checking to make sure you have. Come on, if you're in there, open the door. All right, I'm coming. Tom. Finally. Is George there? Um, have you seen what he's posted? Yes, yes, I've seen it. Oh, you have. And I've spoken to George and he's taking it down. Because if Helen discovers know, it's out there... I know, Thankfully, I don't think she has yet. Good. But if she does, it, it'll destroy her. There's already been a couple of obnoxious comments on there. Really? Yeah, the same kind of sexist drivel she had to put up with seven years ago. Tom, genuinely, I am so sorry. Does George enjoy doing Rob Titchener's work for him? No, of course he doesn't. But it's gone now, he's deleted it. Has he? Yes. Right. Well, let's see, shall we? I... I don't know what to say. As soon as I found out, I told him he had to get rid of it. I am just as appalled as you are. Is it still there? No. No, it's gone. Well, that's something, at least. Although the fact he did it in the first place and doesn't even have the courage to come out here and face the music... Okay, okay. You can tell George from me. He needn't bother calling in sick tomorrow. I don't want him on the farm ever again. No, no, let me guess, Ruth. Oh, hi, Toby. Big hat, veil, you must be off to the races. Not exactly. Then you've got me stumped. Josh and I were supposed to be collecting the honey from Jill's hives. Ah, now the get-up makes sense. But there's been a problem down at Hollow Tree. Some of his hens have escaped. Oh, no, really? Neil was driving by and saw one of them pecking around on the verge. Mm, probably trying to hit your left. Well, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> oh. Josh has gone to sort it out, which leaves me in a bit of a quandary. Jill's anxious that wasps are going to get in and steal the honey harvest. Right. But then to get it all done in the time that's left this afternoon, well, it's much faster with two. But I'm going to at least make a start. Or I could lend you a hand. <laughs> you really are full of jokes today, aren't you? It's not a joke. What? Seriously? Of course. I've just dropped Rosie back from taking her to the water park. I'm sure if you show me what to do... <laughs> right, if you're absolutely sure. I mean, I'm a little nervous about being stung. Oh, no, don't worry about that. We'll get you dressed up. Come on, this way. George, look, we need to talk. There ain't nothing to say. I took it down, didn't I? Well, that ain't the point. It's about what made you do it in the first place. Oh, but, Dad, I... No, George, I don't want any excuses. What, then? Your mum and me had a long talk last night. You don't say. It, we're both very concerned why you thought posting that video of Helen was OK. <sighs> what if she hadn't made you take it down? What if it was still up and people had started sharing it? It ain't just you and your little circle of online friends. I know. Now, thousands of people could have seen it. Millions. Who knows? It could have been out there forever. You know she called me pathetic? She was upset. So? How come she gets to embarrass me in front of the tea room, but I can't post a stupid meme of her online? George. Or is it different because she's a woman? No. But you could have tried being more of a man and not have risen to it. It's not like Helen was upset for no reason. You know what Rob did to her. That ain't my fault. But you can still understand why she freaked out about you organising that meeting, George. How many times I didn't realise it was the same bloke when Henry asked me to help? All right, all right. Why are we making excuses for her? Because sometimes we all deserve a bit of compassion. Especially when we've been through tough times. How would you have felt if someone had filmed me when I was having my struggles? 
What if someone had stuck that online for the world to laugh at? Uh, Dad... I... Would I have deserved it? No. Why not? I mean, that was pathetic. Not very manly. Not very alpha. All right, all right, I get it. You don't have to go on. I was wrong to post the video. But do you really get it, George? Last night, after me and your mum spoke, I looked up some of these influences you've been watching. I can see the appeal. All that money and flash cars and a string of disposable girlfriends just begging to treat you like a king. More fool the rest of us, eh? We've got none of that stuff. We're cucks and snowflakes. But it's all fake, George. It ain't real, that world. Look, just because I watch those guys, it don't mean I agree with everything. I just like the stuff about it not being a crime to be a man. <laughs> and is that what being a man is? Having a six-pack and treating women like dirt? It's about taking charge and not being pushed about. Is that so? Yes. And what about real strength? What about being a protector and looking out for other people? What about being kind? <laughs> Look, George, I might not be the best role model. We all know your opinion about what happened with me and your mum and her choosing Ed. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. No, but you did. And what I can tell you is that if I hadn't finally let go of my pride, if I'd put my anger and my bruised ego above everything else, well, then I'd have still lost your mum, but I'd have probably lost you and my family too. You can still put things right. How do you mean? Apologise to Helen. I'm not saying it won't be difficult, but once you've done it, I promise you'll feel a whole lot better afterwards. Who knows? You might even get your job back. What do you say? You want me to grovel to her? No. I want you to take responsibility for your actions, for once. Are, are you serious? There's no way. George, come on. I, I can't, Dad. I won't. But... I don't care what you say. Don't be nervous, Toby. The suit will protect you. I'm just wondering what's going to happen when I take off the lid. Are the bees going to all come buzzing out? <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't like the roof being torn off my house. Assuming the escape board's done its job, there won't be many in there. They'll all be trapped in the brood box. So I just uh, prise it open with this, do I? That's right. And then I'll step in and give it a puff of smoke, just in case. righty -o. So, how are you getting on working with your dad? Oh, we have our moments. I can imagine. For the most part, though, he's let me get on with it. That's good. Yeah. I spend most of my time travelling around, visiting restaurants, talking to sommeliers. Oh, move back a bit. <laughs> to be honest, I was uh, blagging it at first. You? Toby Fairbrother? <laughs> blagging it? I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> but since then, I've made it my mission to learn everything I can. In fact, yeah. I'm off to Burgundy at the end of next month. Mm. Normally it's Dad who tries out new wines, but I seem to have convinced him. I know my coat de nuit from my coat de bone. <laughs> if the trip goes well, I'm kind of hoping he might step back completely. Retire, you mean? We, we don't use the R word. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm confident I could run the business. Well, it certainly sounds like you've stepped up and seized the reins. Don't say it. It's about time. Um, no, no. <laughs> it's fine. You'd be right. Um... Yeah, so what now? Take the box off? Yeah, and now lift it out. Blimey, it's heavy. Of course it's heavy. It's chock full of golden honey. Right, let's get this over to the extractor. What's the matter? Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah. I was doing the veg box deliveries and needed a chat. Yeah, is it George? Yeah. We had words. And? And? Oh, I don't know. I suggested he apologise to Helen, and he just stormed off. Said there ain't no way he were going to grovel. Sorry, Em. No, no, you tried. I did wonder about talking to Oliver. Ask him to have a word. What good would that do? George ain't listening to anyone. No, but there's the money he's given him. Oliver could tell him what's left is off the table unless he changes his attitude. But then he'd just be doing it for the money. He's got to mean it. True. And George needs something to keep him occupied. He's already lost his job at Bridge Farm. We can't take away from him the chance to set up his own business too. 
You're right. It was just a thought. Maybe he'll be better when he moves in with you. What? You reckon? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's all about wanting more independence and cutting the apron strings. But if it is, that would still make me sad. One of the things Helen asked on Sunday is if I was proud of what I've created. She didn't know what she was saying. No, but she was right. I'm really not sure I am. Wow, look at that. I know, amazing, isn't it? All those perfect hexagons. That's it. Trying to keep the knife flat against the frame. This is so satisfying. Uh, almost there. Perfect. You cut the captains off all in one go. Oh, it's so sexy, the way the honey just oozes out. <laughs> That's not the word I'd use, but <laughs> fair enough. Right, put the frame in the extractor with the other one. OK. Uh, now what? Uh, turn the handle. And not too fast, though, or the honey will fly everywhere. How's this? Slightly quicker. Uh, just fast enough to force the honey out of the comb. Honestly, Ruth, why has no one ever shown me how to do this before? You can keep your French vineyards, beekeeping is where it's at. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It sounds like you're having too much success with your business to give it up. True. Maybe I could combine the two and start selling mead. Uh, now there's an idea. <laughs> yeah. That'll do. Oh, um, is, is, is that it? Do I, do I take the frames out now? Uh, go ahead. Amazing! They're empty. It really is as simple as that. I'm just thinking, you and Rosie head off to Cornwall on Saturday, don't you? We do, first thing. Um, how would you like to come over for dinner the night before? Uh, uh, with Rosie, um, of course. And Pip if she's free. Could be a proper little family celebration. See you off for your holes. Yes, that sounds lovely, Ruth. Yeah? You keen? Absolutely. There's nothing I'd like more. George, you're eating with me and Kira tonight. Uh, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, just checking. Ed's working late at home for him again. I don't want to make too much. Right. Potatoes. You need a hand? No, I'm fine. I suppose Dad told you about earlier. Said you'd had a chat, yeah. What about it? Just, um, some of the stuff he said. I get where you're both coming from. It, it, it was just for a laugh. I, I thought it was funny. George. It's true. It wasn't meant to be offensive. Do you think it would have been funny if Helen had seen it? If Henry had seen it? If all his mates had seen it? No. Oh, come on. You weren't just doing it for a laugh. There are a lot of things you've said and done recently that aren't funny. Mum. Please. You let me finish. When... Well, when you called me what you called me, George, that hurt me deeply. It hurt me down to my bones. Not just because you said it to me, but because it shows what you think about women in general. I, I wish I'd never said that. I really do. Yeah, I hope so. Because you know who else thinks like that? Who? Rob Titchener. And I've told you how he tried to control Helen, how he constantly belittled her, put her down, and he did much worse. I know, Mum. You don't have to tell me. I've heard how he was with Henry. So why do you want to be a misogynist like him? Look, George, you're my child. You could call me any name under the sun, I'd still love you. I love you too. Well, if you do, maybe you'll think about what I've said. Because I'm not the only person you've hurt, am I? Thanks for letting me in, Helen. That's all right, George, but I can't be long. I was wondering if I could talk to you about what I did. Look, I'm in the middle of cooking. How long will it take? It will only take a minute. I just want to say I'm sorry. OK, then. I... I shouldn't have helped Henry. Mum's explained what Rob did to you. I shouldn't have gone along with it. It was wrong of me. I, I get why you freaked out. And I'm sorry for the things I said on Sunday and for filming you and posting it. I know you ain't nuts. I was just trying to be funny. Funny? Yeah. Look, can we forget about it? I really like working on the farm. No. No, I'm sorry. What? And maybe you can forget about it, George, but I can't. But... Can you leave now? I really don't want you here. I meant what I said. I need you to go now.
Oi! What? That lettuce was to have with our burgers we're about to start cooking. It was only a little, Jen. We've got another. Honestly, no wonder Rosie loves it when you're around. She gets anything she wants. <laughs> Actually, it's the ducks. They're the ones she's feeding the lettuce to. Um, <laughs> Just being accurate. God, you're a nightmare. Not according to your mum, I'm not. Oh, don't. <laughs> Lord knows how you managed to wrangle a dinner invite tomorrow. I helped collect the honey. Evening. Oh, got hi, Stella. Oh. Oh, oh, don't tell me, you must be. Toby. Toby. Hello, finally, we get to meet properly. Nice to meet you. Um, Pip tells me you're her new Bezzy. Uh, does she? Oh, that's nice. So, where are you heading? Oh, just the village shop. I realised I bought all the ingredients for a risotto, except a amount of rice. Oh, disaster. <laughs> just, fingers crossed they stretch to a boreo. Yeah, well, good luck. Or, alternatively, we're having a barbecue. You can come eat with us. Uh, sure. Honestly, I wouldn't want to intrude. You wouldn't be, would she, Pip? Uh, no. No, Rex is coming too. Uh, the more the merrier. Oh, well, as long as you're sure. That would be wonderful, thanks. Can't wait. Hey, how's it going? Fine. Just sorting out the laundry. Did the girls go down OK? They're both in their cots. Whether they're going to sleep is another matter. <laughs> well, let's hope. As for me... Oh, I could conk out right now. Well, you do look shattered. Maybe you need to think again about George. <sighs> no, seriously, Tom. Emma says he's genuinely sorry about the video. When did you speak to Emma? I was helping her in the tea room again today. Natasha! Oh, just for half an hour. Both her and Will have had words with him. And he did try to apologise. Yeah, well, sometimes an apology's not enough. No, I know. And but... in any case, it's up to Helen. Until she decides to forgive him, I'm certainly not going to. How is Helen? Have you seen her today? Only briefly. She was telling me she's spoken to Dominic, you know, about Rob breaking his non-molestation order. And what was his advice? That they were in a public space. Rob says it was a coincidence. But it obviously wasn't. He doesn't even live around here. He technically didn't break any rules. <sighs> Helen admitted she was the one who approached him, as did Henry... They don't have much of a leg to stand on. Oh, he makes my skin crawl. Uh, Helen's looking to update the protection order to include Henry, but... Ugh, what a nightmare. Uh, well, that's one thing we can't blame on George, at least. Right. Well, the dinner's in the oven. I'll put this load on, and then it ought to be time to dish up. Great. I'm famished. I know you don't approve, but it's been quite an eye-opener helping in the tea room. I'm not convinced Fallon's making the most of its potential. Oh, really? Mm, like the number of tables she could fit in. She's wasting all that space with her upcycled furniture. And from what Emma says, they don't get many sales. Uh, uh, sorry, oh. uh, told you we'd be lucky. I'd better... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go. Uh, hold that thought about the tea room, though. I, I'd like to know more. <laughs> I'm no. being absolutely serious. There's a correct <laughs> wine to drink with everything. Even a barbecue? Absolutely. <laughs> Are you keeping an eye on the burgers? We don't want them burnt. No, exactly. What wine would you recommend then? Uh, that is a very good question. Uh, with any char-grilled meat, you're looking for something punchy and full-bodied that will stand up to the smoky flavour. Mm, that's why I've bought a Zinfandel. This one's particularly good as it's oak-aged. May I uh, pour you a glass? I'll do it. Go flip the burgers or they'll be more charred than grilled. But I... You wants to be chef. Hand me the bottle. All right. All right. So, have you always been a wine expert, Toby? Uh, no, but my dad has. Um, as a child, I spent my summers in France being dragged from Chateau de Chateau. Ah, Trevian. Uh, what about you? Are you like Pip? Are your parents farmers too? Mm. No, no. <laughs> your, your dad was a lorry driver, wasn't he? Yeah. He had his own haulage company mm. and my mum was a hairdresser. I just got the farming bug. You've obviously got a talent for it, more than I ever did. Oh, of course. You used to work alongside your brother. Uh, was it poultry you bred? That's right, uh, geese and hens. Oh, I remember Pip saying that. Did she say how she helped me make a promotional video for the egg business? Toby! <laughs> That's how we first got together, taking a stroll up Lakey Hill, trying to record background bird songs. All right, all right, thank no, you. No, she didn't. That sounds quite romantic. Oh, please, let's not even go there. <laughs> Rex. Sorry for being late. I had to go home and change. Oh, no worries. Oh, hello, Stella. I didn't know you were coming. I wasn't, but then I bumped into Pip and Toby and I couldn't say no. We've just been reminiscing about our early days in Ambridge, working together. Ah, oh, have you now? Glass of wine. Oh, yes, I So, uh, what brought you to Ambridge originally? 
Ah, well. They were following in their grandfather's footsteps. Isn't that right? Uh, he owned a lot of land around here. Oh, I see. Oh, oh tough. Although he wasn't really a farmer himself. No, no. Um, Pitt's granddad ran it for him. He was mm. his farm manager. Mm. Uh, and then his son-in-law. I'm sorry, who was whose son-in-law? Uh, my uh, grandpa, <laughs> Phil, married their granddad's daughter, Grace. Yeah, although she died before our dad was even born. And before my grandpa met my grand. Right. Mm. <laughs> so uh, the Archers and the Fair Brothers have had a... History, then. I mean, beyond you and Toby. But what can I say? Maybe there's some sort of cosmic attraction that keeps drawing us together. Well, if there is, it never ends well. No, but we did have our moments. Toby! Oh, I'm just saying, it wasn't all bad. How are those burgers? Are they ready yet? Oh, I reckon so. Where are the buns? In the kitchen, where you left them. Right. And what else do we need? Plates, salad, condiments. Ah, everything, then. Can I give you a hand? Sure, yeah. You OK in here, Rosie? What are you up to? No, look, that's all right, Stella. You, you're our guest. No, no, you stay here. I don't mind pitching in. Mm. This is delicious, thank you. I'm glad you like it. It took me ages to take it out of the packet and put it in the oven. <laughs> you did an excellent job. <laughs> so, are you ready to hear about the tea room? Mm, yeah, sure. Go on. Well, it's like I was saying. There's a lot of things I just think they could be doing a bit better. Like the tables. They should be selling the upcycled stuff online. Well, makes sense, I suppose. There can't be many locals who drop in for a crumpet and walk out with a distressed chest of drawers. No, exactly. And I'm not saying the stuff isn't nice, if that's your taste. No. But don't use the tea room as a place to store it. I reckon, with a rejig, there's room for at least another ten covers. And then again, it's hardly ever completely full as it is. Well, that's another thing. The more people visit the tea room, the more we'll pop into the farm shop. And vice versa. I mean, look at everything we've been doing to turn the farm into more of a destination. And it's working too. We're definitely busier. So we're driving customers to Fallon. And what's she doing for us? She could use more of our products. And what isn't ours is still all organic. But I can see so many more synergies. Like a loyalty scheme. 10% off for Bridgebox customers. That's a good idea. Or um, how about ready meals? Have them make simple things like lasagna or shepherd's pie and that we could deliver with the boxes. Mm, that could work. Yeah, couldn't it? Well, you want to ask Fallon for a meeting once she's back? No, oh, I'm not sure. I was talking to Emma about the takeaway cream teas they did during lockdown. Mm, no, they were really popular. Yeah, I know. And I get it was an extreme situation and that people aren't stuck in their homes anymore. But as soon as it was over, instead of building on the success, she went back to doing things the way she'd done before. True. Now, I don't want to barge in and start telling her how to run a business. No. But then the tea room is an integral part of the wider bridge farm offer. I agree. Hmm. So, what do you want to do? I suppose I'm just saying we need to think about it. That's all. <laughs> so, did you and Kate actually ever go out? Hell no. We just... Popped you know. a bouncy castle before. <laughs> May I just point out that while Toby was getting his rocks off, I was eight months pregnant with Rosie. I'd mm. have taken you for a bounce if you'd asked. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure that would have been medically advisable, would it? But probably not. No. <laughs> but you weren't still together at the time. No. No. No, we'd split up well before that. Honestly, Stella, I've learnt my lesson. We were off and on again so many times. That's true. How many times did you dump me? Oh, I can't remember. It was a lot. <sighs> But then she'd always change her mind. <laughs> Excuse me, you should be grateful I gave you so many chances. Shall we go over why I kept dumping you? No, no. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. yes, let's do. Please. Yeah. I admit, I was a very bad boyfriend. You were very bad. But you still kept coming back for more. <laughs> what has gone into you this evening? Well, no, just as long as you know what you want now. Oh, well, I know what I want. Mm. My bed. <coughs> Come on, Tobes. It's time we were getting back. What? It's not that late. Oh, it's late enough for me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll never get up in the morning. Oh, goodness, yes. It's well past Rosie's bedtime. Exactly. Come on, Toby. Unless you want to stay and put her to bed. Uh, I'm sure she'd like it if you did. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Oh, hmm. but no yep. need to wait, Rex. I'll find my way back to the boat. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming. It's been really great. Oh, sure. Yeah, thanks for having me. Right, see you, Toby. I'm glad to have finally met you properly. Yes, you too. Mm. Yeah, I've been interested to know what you're like. Well, now you know. I hope it wasn't a disappointment. No, no, no. I've learnt a lot. Yeah, too much, probably. <laughs> Possibly. Thanks for inviting me, though. Oh, I'm pleased you could come. I guess we put the last couple of weeks behind us. 
Yeah. Yeah, of course. Good. Right, come on then, Rex. Let's leave Mum and Dad to it. OK. Uh, you won't be long, though, will you, Toby? Come back as soon as you're done. There you are. I thought maybe you'd fallen asleep too. Oh, sorry, I had to read three stories before she dropped off. She kept on insisting on hearing the last page until I realised she was stalling. <laughs> Honestly, that girl. <laughs> That's OK. As long as she's asleep now. Uh, we've run out of your good stuff, I'm afraid. It's just my cheap plonk. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? No. Good. Because I've poured you a glass already. Ah. Here you go. Thanks. Ah. It's been a nice evening, isn't it? Oh, it has. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Stella's great. I can mm. see why you like her so much. <laughs> you do, do know she's gay? Yeah. Oh. You do? <laughs> <laughs> what about it? Mm. Did you think I was going to use my charms on her? Well, she's a woman, isn't she? <laughs> Plus, you know, she's smart. Um, She's funny, and um, she's... Oh. So, are you a bit jealous? <laughs> Pip, is, is this... Is there something here again? <laughs> Toby... Um... Look, tell me if this isn't what you want. I don't want to spoil what we've got. Well, no, I, I, I don't want to spoil things either. So... So... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, careful, you whine. Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe I should go. Uh, uh, no, no, Toby. Look, it's, it's not like it's something we haven't done before. <laughs> I want to. Come here. Mm. Oh, Helen, you made me jump. Didn't know you were in here. Oh, sorry, Susan, I thought you knew. Uh, when did you sneak in? Maybe 20 minutes ago. I wanted to see how the latest batch of Borsetshire Blue is coming along. I've not been able to check it all week. Right. Uh, well, me and Carrie, we've been busy making yoghurt this afternoon. Uh, if you want to come through when you're finished, it'd be lovely to have a chin wag. Uh, Carrie's just been telling me about the nightmare Oliver's having at Grey Gables. Oh, yeah? They've all this carpet waiting to be laid. Miles and miles of the stuff. All made special like in a factory in Kidderminster. Right. But before it can go down, they need the other trays to finish. <laughs> it's like a race. Soon as the painters are out of one bedroom, the carpet fitters go in. Oh dear. Apparently half the hotel still looks like a building site. Yes. <laughs> well, anyway, um, we're, we're just next door. Yeah, thanks, Susan. Um, uh, Helen, since you're here, about George. Obviously, I know he tried to apologise to you. And I completely understand if you don't feel able to forgive him yet. But he genuinely is sorry. He's worried you thought he just wanted his job back. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Susan. He knows he's behaved badly. That may be true. Please, believe him. I don't want George on the farm, Susan. I'm sorry. But I can't change how I feel. Oh, sorry, love. Didn't mean to get in your way. Don't worry. You know we've some stout, if Leonard would prefer it. Mm, I did offer. What are you after? Oh, the ball with the marinade in. Oh, here. Thanks. To the lamb chops. Since when did this become such a whole family thing? It hasn't, has it? Well, Leonard's here. And Josh, Ben. Ben does live here. He just doesn't work this evening. And your grand had invited Leonard over already. OK, but still, is, is it a problem? Um, I thought it'd be a nice way to round off Toby's week here, especially for Rosie. Yeah, it's not often we're all together. Aha, is that the man himself? I'm not too early, am I? No, of course not, Toby. Come on in. Thanks. Hello, David, how are you? Hey, plodding on, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, hi, Ruth. Hi. Pip. Hey. Right, that is Mum and Leonard's drinks. What can I get you, Toby? Beer? Cider? We might even have some scruff gin in the cycle. <laughs> no, thanks. I might go for something soft. 
we got through quite a lot of wine last night. Mm, I was wondering what all the laughter was about. We could hear you from across the yard. Dad, should I take those drinks through for you? No, no, it's all right. Uh, tell you what, why don't you see what we've got that's soft? Oh, I'll be back in a minute. Actually, I think we've some sparkling water in the lard if you'd like that. Perfect. What, I'll go. No, don't worry. Jill's cheesecake's out there too. It needs to come inside. But... Um, you stay here. But don't tell me I never offered to help. Hmm. Rosie's through with everyone else, is she? Yeah. You haven't left her at Rickyard? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Right, well, uh, I guess I'll go say hello. Toby, uh, about last night. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? I'm the one who ran off straight afterwards. It's me who should be sorry. Oh, no, no, I just no, didn't no. want to confuse Rosie by being there in the morning. No, of course. Plus, Rex was still awake when I got back to the boat. Wanted to interrogate me about what had kept me so long. You didn't tell him, did you? Like I would. I said we'd been going through everything Rosie needs for our holiday. It's fine. We're all good. Are we, though? Because... I didn't set out for us to sleep together. No, I know. I wasn't planning it either. Well, no, but now it's it happened. Should... There's obviously still something there. Come on, let's talk about it. But I suggest when we're not surrounded by your entire family. Okay, but <laughs> and I want to see my little girl. Oh, you are in, Susan. I'm sorry to disturb you, Helen. I'm not interrupting your dinner, am I? Uh, no, no, no. We've eaten. Would you mind me coming in? Um, I promise I won't take up loads of your time. Well, all right then. Oh, thanks. I've been uh, thinking about our chat earlier. Actually, Susan, I'm not sure I want to discuss this. But I this. want to promise you something. There isn't any way I'm going to let my grandson go down a bad path. Nor will Emma, or Will, or any of us. What's happened has been a bit of a wake-up call. Well... Maybe not for Neil. He's had his concerns for a while, but for the rest of us. And it's our job to set George right. Well, that's all I came to say. I'll leave you in peace. But actually, Susan, Kirsty's gone out for the evening. I could do with some adult company. Do you want to stay for a while? Where shall I put these? Oh! Thanks, Toby. You didn't need to do that. Just dump them on the side. I'll stick them in the dishwasher now. No problem. <clears throat> oh, the lamb was delicious, by the way. I think I just about managed not to overcook it. No, it was perfect. Fit for your guests in the bar. <laughs> Luckily for everyone, we have caterers for that. <laughs> Although, we did lose our drink supply last week. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, they've gone bust. Oh, so what are you going to do? Well, in the short term, Kenton's jumped in to help. Tracy brings round the bottles. Without their help, tomorrow's wedding would end up being BYOB. After that, though, I guess we'll just have to find someone else. Well, if you need me to supply you with wine... I... Toby, that's kind of you. Honestly, it wouldn't be worth your while. Not compared with some of the clients you've been telling me about. Oh, don't be daft. They're not all Michelin-starred restaurants and five-star hotels. I could supply you with some truly wonderful, great-value wine. <laughs> what? Really? Absolutely, and, and I'll only charge you trade price too. No. It... Really, it's the least I can do. Well, in that case... That would be incredible. Thanks, Toby. Not at all. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. Dirty plates coming through. Hey, Pip, Toby's going to supply the events barn with wine. Is he? Are you? Isn't that good of him? Sure. Yeah, I guess so. Well done, Toby. You never miss an opportunity. Pip! It's not like that. <laughs> Toby's just said he's not going to make a profit. You're not. What's the point of being a wine merchant if you can't do your in-laws a favour? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Since when were we married? All right. My daughter's grandparents. You know what I mean. We're all family. Exactly. <laughs> and we're extremely appreciative. Now, you two. Toby, could you take the cheesecake through to the dining room? Sure. And Pip, what? if you could take the hedgerow pudding. Uh, what's the matter? Nothing, nothing. Well, go on, off you both go. San Francisco, somewhere I've always wanted to visit. Lee must be having an amazing time. Yeah, he is. Although more than anything, he's just loving seeing his girls. Oh, of course. Oh, even now I can't imagine having my two living so far away. Or the grandkids. Still... At some point, you've got to let him out into the world. Yeah, I suppose you have. 
Helen. Mm. Oh, no, I shouldn't ask. Hey, what is it? No, no, honestly. <laughs> You've started now. You might as well say it. Well, I was just curious what you thought made Rob the way he is. Do you think it was the way he was brought up, or is he just a bad seed and that's that? I wish I knew. It's like there's something missing, some sort of dark void, and it can only be filled by degrading other people. Women, you mean? Well, yeah. It's the only way he can feel powerful. I don't think Georgie's like that. I hope he's not. Oh, it frightens me to think that he ever could be. I, I don't think he is either. No, but you can't ignore some of his behaviour. Oh, it's not like our family hasn't got its fair share of bad eggs. Just look at Clive. Honestly, Susan, you can't compare George with Rob or your brother. But I admit I was really shocked by some of the things he said. Oh, I wish I'd approached him differently. No one's blaming you, Ellen. We just hope George can turn himself around. I guess we all need time to grow and have to try and be a bit kinder to each other. You know, I recognise it took a lot for him to come and apologise. Oh, I guess so. In fact, why don't you tell George he can have his job back? What? Are you sure? Yeah. We all deserve a second chance. So this is where you are. Toby. What are you up to? Doing a bit of stargazing? <laughs> no, I just needed to get some fresh air. It is quite full on in there. Isn't it just? <laughs> You're making yourself very popular. Mum and Dad can't get enough of you. <laughs> what can I say? I like them too. I like all your family. It's one of the things I always remind myself when I'm feeling guilty about Rosie. Guilty? For not being around enough. She's got so many other people to love and take care of her. You shouldn't feel guilty, Toby. You still see her lots. Not as much as I'd like to. You're getting to take her away on holiday, which is more than I can do. I know. And this week has been great. It's been wonderful spending so much time with her. It's still not the same as being around regularly, though. Mm. Listen, Pip, I know we said last night was just, well, you know... Yeah. It was just one night. Exactly. But you've got to admit, it was pretty damn good. So we, I'm not uh, fishing for compliments. <laughs> you must have felt it too, though. That spark. Mm. And look, I get it. I wasn't expecting this either. I thought we were just going to have a bit of fun, for old time's sake. Me too. But when you think about it... I mean, we'd have to take it slowly. Especially with Rosie. We wouldn't want to get our hopes up. Except it's not as simple as that. Well, why not? It wasn't lack of chemistry that made us split up. It was me. Mm. And I'm different now. I'm finally grown up. Don't roll your eyes, it's true. I wasn't, I just... I, I just don't know what to say. I know, it's mad. But neither of us is in a relationship. Tell me why we shouldn't at least give it another shot. Uh, Toby, listen... Uh, you two coming inside, we're about to have coffee. Uh, yeah, OK, Dad. Leonard's champing at the bit. We'll be there in a sec, David. Oh, sorry, have I, have I just... No, no, honestly. No, no, no but... don't worry. Sorry, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Dad! No, 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 no. take your time. Cheers, David. Ah, great. <laughs> uh, look, I'm off in the morning. Why don't we give ourselves a week to think about it? And then we can discuss how we feel when I get back, yeah? <sighs> Come on, let's go inside before tongues really start wagging. Wait, Toby, wait. Um, I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression, but as far as I'm concerned, last night was a mistake. I came on to you, and I shouldn't have done. Pip. I, I've been in a weird place recently. I, I shouldn't have messed with your feelings. It's not like I didn't know what I was doing. No, I know. And I really don't think it was a mistake. Toby, you're not listening. I didn't feel anything. Not for you. I'm, I'm sorry if you thought I did. <laughs> 